at Bart and Janet's home. Um, you're visiting for the holidays, and uh, this is Marilyn, by the way. And I'm really thrilled because in just a few minutes, we're going to start a podcast. We'll get Seal on Skype, and she'll be interviewing us um, so that we can share your story and talk about um, adaptive textiles and the fate moving forward. Sounds great. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. You're yeah, this should be a lot of fun. I can't ever remember not sewing, really. My mother told me that I used to cry to sit on her lap at the sewing machine when she would sew. She would sew a lot. And I just loved to sit there and watch her hands. And by the time I was about five years old, I could operate the sewing machine, but it was a pedal machine. It wasn't electric. And I had to stand up in order to, to do the pedals. And uh, my oh mother, yeah, this was in the 40s and 50s, you know, I, I'm, I was born in 1940, so this is back in the older days, some people would say. And what the, was your first pattern? It was the um, Empire. Oh, that's, because <laughs> oh, that's my favorite. Right. Yes, yeah. the Empire was the first one, and uh, it was the one I had probably had the most difficulty with back mm -hmm. in those days. Little did I know then the Kingston would be a... A, a, a bigger uh, obstacle to conquer, but yeah, the Empire was the first one. So who was responsible for the illustrations? Because they're beautiful illustrations yes. throughout. They are beautiful. I was doing the illustrations uh, totally myself, and as you can see in the earlier drawings, they needed, uh, uh, they got better, in other words, over the years. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I did all of the illustrations uh, up until at one point my daughter started doing some of the drawings on the computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Finally got the courage and circled back to you and the first thing I did was I talked about um, that how I used MFA patterns for <laughs> And uh, I could see there was something wrong there, and you did correct me. <laughs> <laughs> right. MFA was better than MACFA. Okay. <laughs> of course, it was busy, and and you were selling patterns and giving advice, and, and here I am with my excitement telling you what I think we should do. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, I'm going to start this fabric printing company, and, and wouldn't it be great if we could take your patterns, or the MFA pattern, I meant MFA <laughs> patterns, and, uh, and, and print, you know, the beautiful textile designs within the shape of mm -hmm. your patterns. And um, and I don't know if you thought I was nuts or or or, or monopolizing your time when well, you could well, be selling patterns. Where you, where you really got my attention was when you said, "Okay, if somebody wants to cut a bias, a swag on the bias, I can print the pattern. It be cut on the bias, but the but the design of the motif will be upright." Now, isn't that a clever idea? You remember that? I do. Wow. That was a. Uh, that stuck in my mind. I said, yes, you go, girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, since that moment, it's always been in the back of my mind. And uh, Bart and I had the opportunity to get to know each other uh, pretty well when we were um, we were sharing space. I was the, when I was directing the CHF Academy, um, uh, Maffei Patterns uh, was sharing, sharing space. It's, the timing was right now. If, if the opportunity had happened a few years earlier, adaptive textiles wouldn't have been ready. Um, right. And uh, you know, with the growth of our company, especially in the last two years, I have the staff to be able to incorporate it. And the other thing that happened just within the last year that made the timing right is that we, Adaptive Textiles, started printing wallpaper for some of our best textile collection customers. And, okay. and so we explored paper printing, and that, um, I don't know what that was, a sign or, <laughs> or, or just good luck or, or whatever, um, but the uh, fact that we had now some experience with paper as the media um, made it so that we could um, acquire the patterns and 
basically to take over production without a learning curve on the printing side. So that, you know, knock on with the transition <laughs> yeah. um, has been going really smoothly. And, uh, you know, we are producing the patterns from our facility in Westchester and um, very excited about um, n not just, you know, making sure that we protect the your legacy, Marilyn. Thank you. <laughs> but also um, see, what, see what we can do. Um, with new ideas and developing new patterns and, and I'm totally excited that <laughs> you're the one that has taken over oh. and because my heart is there and it will always be there and you're the best one to take care of that. Oh, that means Thank so you. much. It, it means so much to me. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm thrilled to share that Marilyn has offered um, to support the patterns and, and to be available um, we're, we're you know we'll set up the discussion groups and uh and she'll respond to questions and we'll have her involvement um for as long as she's willing to give it uh, because who's better to answer a support question than the developer of the pattern herself yeah, i'll continue to uh, be there for janelle as long as she needs as long as i can do it uh, health wise or whatever and uh, and you're you're looking great and vibrant and so I'm thinking we can get another 30 35 years uh, out of this. <laughs> <laughs> my children might not have okay. <laughs>